receiving EDI orders from your customers makes it much easier for you to manage your internal sales order process, eliminating any mistakes, and just going through a approval process internally to turn them into actual sales orders within the system. DCOM's built-in EDI capability allows you to either go direct with the customer or go through a van, which would allow you to map only specific transactions with that particular van. So under the system, EDI imports is where we identify all the different mappings of the different sales order types, the different EDI types, maybe even if you just want to map an Excel file. So it's really anything electronic that we want to map and have that come in as an order within the system. So basically what we do here is we identify where is this information coming into, what type of order is created through this EDI mapping. So a lot of our customers will create an internet sale so they can go through an approval process and turning that into an actual sales order. Over here on the right-hand side would be those mappings. So basically what we're doing is we're taking that electronic file and field and mapping that into a field within the DCOM software. We also can identify which FTP or SFTP server we're pulling from and also the frequency at which we'll pull those orders into the software. So as we go through and actually import those into the system through our import EDI, we can either do this as a forced import, meaning we can go out on our own and manually pull these in, or as I mentioned, this can be done automatically for us as we kind of go through those mappings and save them within the system. So we'll go ahead and run this and import in one of our EDI files. And where this lands, since it was a considered a internet order, it actually goes into a report within the software for all of our internet orders that are yet to be approved. So what we see here is a full task list for somebody to come in and approve these different orders. And basically the approval process is we go in, we take a look at these. So here's the order that we just imported in today. We identify maybe through a workflow process, the steps that we need to go through to approve this. We may wanna look at, you know, is this an item that they can purchase? Is this a specific quantity or is there an additional quantity they need to order? And then on any of the special pricing that may be applied to this particular customer. So in order to make this an actual sales order from an EDI order, all we need to do is go through and actually flip this to a sales order. This is now an order that can flow through the system. We'll have visibility to our MRP planning. We'll have visibility to production and visibility to shipping now that this is flipped to a sales order.